Today, I have for you something you have never seen before. I'm gonna abuse a strategy that has so many possibilities, and that strategy is Champion of Light with Fixated. These two perks allow you to move at running speed while using your flashlight, but the real trick behind it is that it counts as walking, meaning not only can you avoid entering a chase, but you can also lose chases very easily. This allows you to vault windows more than three times without them blocking, recover your exhaustion while technically still running, and it also allows you to deny the killer from ever getting bloodlust in chase. What's also great about it is that these two perks are very strong just by themselves, which makes the build even better. I'm pairing them today with life and resilience to get as much value from vaulting windows as physically possible. And I even had a game where I show how you can abuse this strategy to outplay the nurse as well. I really hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's go. Let's see what window we got. We did get the good window with the good opening, with the good opening as well. Oh my. It's perfect. It's perfect. Nice. And he has left. So the only thing we're really missing in this build is actually Vigil. This would be so much better with Vigil. But I don't really think we can take off any of these perks here, unfortunately. Because we do need all of them to be able to pull this off. I guess we could take off Resilience. But if we're doing this when injured, Resilience is going to help us too much. Beautiful flashlight save. We don't use too much flashlight for that too, which is kind of nice. And then maybe we can get him on us. No? Nope. Goodbye. They do not want to chase me. Okay, we're going main. Oh. This isn't main building, but it's okay. It's okay. I've got a plan. That's a rock. Oh my god. It's fine. Dwayne is going to help us out later in the match. But for now, we shall try to loop the infinite. Perfect. It actually worked out in the end. Okay. Now we walk. And then if ever the killer is going to see us, like right here, we might need to do this and then vault. And just like that, we actually lose chase, even though the killer could see us for a moment there when we had to go around that corner faster. So that's what I'm talking about. You can use the flashlight to make it so that if the killer is going to see you, you're not running, therefore not entering chase, meaning you can vault the window infinite times. So I actually messed up there and this build saved me, which is crazy. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this before. And he DC'd. Great. All right, well, let's go again. <laughs> We're in now on Asylum, which has this window right here that we can also infinite. And obviously we have the shack and many very, very strong loops that combine into each other. Two jungle gyms here, two jungle gyms here, jungle gym here. And then I think there's also two more or just, it might just be one more over here. So we have six jungle gym tiles on the map with some very insane setups. We have a pyramid head actually as well. So this will be very interesting to try and loop. I can't go in there. Serious? Beautiful. Okay, let's go over to the jungle gym. Will he commit to yes or no? We're about to find out. Three, two, one. And the answer is no. We can actually save that. I don't think he's close. Oh my god. Okay, he has range add ons. That's kind of insane. Good sir. Would you like to commit the chase? He would not. Okay, we're getting nice and healed up. We do make the heal as well. Level that so we keep our life just in case he does actually go for us, which he will not. We do want to pressure this save here though. Problem is, we save, we get double hit, and then the guy gets tunneled again in like five seconds. So he's just gonna confirm the kill there. So we're going into a 3v1 here at five generators, which is gonna be an interesting game to see if we can win. Like, obviously, we could try and one for one in that situation, but he actually can't really take hits against a pyramid head. Nice. Let's just walk and then let's try and do this infinitely, honestly. This is quite the window to run infinitely if I can. Yeah, it's looking like we can for now. Let's do the trick now. While he can see us. And then now we need to run. Now nah, we entered chase for sure. Now. Beautiful timing on the window tech. And he is lost. Hello, friends. Oh, there we go. We have a pallet here we'll actually use. He doesn't get that because you can't do it downwards like that. Beautiful. 
He's in a vault. Yeah. Okay. Let's actually take him to the double jungle gym loops over here and try and lose the chase if he goes for us. Okay. We'll do the trick to get into this jungle gym without being in chase and then lose the chase here. Okay. We're not in chase. We're not in chase. This is good. So good start here. We'll do that to get around the corner quick. Vault that. And then let's stay out of chase. Oh, I messed up. That's not like it. I tried going for the window attack. Let's just walk. Nice. Let's go back to jungle gym and hit life here. Nice. Blend him there. Champion of Light actually allows us to run past. I'm going to do this. And we're going to run around the back. We're going to do this, actually. Just so that we can walk for a second here and not leave scratch marks. Remember, that's another trick. You don't leave scratch marks when you do that as well. Oh, wow. He didn't hear us crying over there as well. Did he break this? He didn't. Yeah, okay. We'll stay, but only because the pallet's here. Oh, I... Never mind. I left. I lied completely, and I managed to get out of it alive somehow. Okay. We have a TL with no pallet. And we need to lose chase here, so I'm going to do the trick on the corner here. Trick on this corner here. Nice. And now we should be losing chase any second now. There it is. We don't make that. Yeah, that's unlucky. Okay, that's not bad though. We got a good couple gens there and the next two are almost popping. So we're almost down to one gen left here, which is really, really good. We did manage to use the trick a good couple times too. It's really weird. I said I was going to stay at the jungle gym and then I run into a hill and ran away for some reason. I don't know if that was the play. I probably should have stayed in the stronger area, but it's okay. This is still a very, very winnable game. Oh wow, that's actually insane. He has two jungle gyms in a row here and we had a jungle gym as well over there, which means there's three jungle gyms on this map. Another gen pops. Oh my God, we're actually going to win a 3v1 right now. Okay, here we go. Can you imagine? Yeah, baby! No, he powered, dude. That's so unlucky. Okay. We might just run him on the same jungle gym. I knew that was going to happen. Nice. Let's get out of here. Let's go straight to main and try and do it at main building. Oh my god. I forgot about killer instinct, dude. That's so embarrassing. I'm going to pre-drop this because it's a pyramid head. Just get distance here and obviously play to win. I know these two gamers are going to want to win this 3v1. Let's not mess around like we just did. Flash gem popping. Nice. If I save this instantly, he has no pressure. Nice. What is this? A jungle gym? Okay. It has nothing on it though. We remember that too. We need to do this to lose chase. We need to run away. We have nothing though. We're running into a complete dead zone. We have nothing followed by nothing. If this is the door that's being opened, then maybe we have something and that's it. That's the only way. We have to try this. No, that's so unlucky. Nice shot, dude. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I threw this game so hard. GG's. Damn. Oh my God. I know why I died now. And when I stood still, he had eight seconds of wall hack on me because it's with lethal pursuers. Oh my God. And that's why he got me at the end as well. Oh my God. I just realized that. GG's. Damn. This guy played really well. We have got ourselves a nurse. Let's see what we can do. So you can't really shift like a nurse, but there are some really cool strats you can do like that. And you can kind of buy a lot of distance with this build against a nurse. So. What? Oh my god. I don't know how that's worked, but it has. Okay, so let's just keep going. Oh, oh my. And the auto aim as well. We're getting so lucky. Oh <gasps> no, my mouse just ran out of power. I'm not even kidding. Okay, hold up. I use my mouth. To unplug and then stand still in the corner. Plug it in. What are 
Okay. Now my mouse is back. Now let's see what we can do. Okay. Okay, we are dead. I probably lived longer because of the flashlight though, which is great. And we actually got two gens for that too, which is kind of insane. So yeah, usually for a video like this, where I'm kind of trying to show you guys something, I actually wouldn't use a game against a nurse. But the funny thing is I do actually have something to show you guys that's specifically about the nurse, which I think is kind of cool. Nice. They actually removed this from the game a while ago where you could stop the nurse from blinking by blinding her with a flashlight. But there are some really cool things you can do with the champion of light fixated thing, specifically against a nurse, which I think is really cool. Okay, we're gonna fake going inside. Oh my god. Nice. Another gens popping. That's so good. And we need to go get reset. We need to go to the boon straight away. Honestly, we might actually escape a game here against a nurse in pubs, which does not happen very often. Oh. This is what's happening. I see. I see. We have to go underneath now. Nice. Let's walk. <gasps> Wait, she lost us. I'm sorry. It's been quite a while since playing with even one random. We've escaped the nurse in pubs because usually what they'll do is just tunnel out someone at the beginning of the game and pretty much make it impossible for you to win. What I do worry about though is I'm pretty sure she might have some sort of three gen. Yeah, it's Pia with main and the gen in between. I see what's happening here. She's holding an insane three gen. <gasps> Wait, we just popped it though. We just popped it. We just popped a three gen. Wait, we're actually gonna escape this game. Nice. Let's just get reset again. This boon as well is going to win us this game. It might be worth trying to keep pressuring this gen though. Oh, I did not know where she was to be honest with you. That's kind of my bad. I'm stuck on nothing. That's a flashbang save though. Nice. And then we can actually chain blind it with champion of light and she goes extremely slow. She already goes extremely slow, but champion of light kind of doubles on that effect. Nice. I'm going to do this. That shin's going to pop. And it's not a pain res. We're actually endgame against a nurse. With a door like 10 feet away. And she's face camping. Okay. No. Okay, I get the pickup quick. This is the unbreakable boon. They don't know. Open. We get this pickup. I'm going to point to the locker for Ollie if I, if I can. This is it, this is it, this is it. And then run. Just run. Blind her again. Blind her again. And that's it. We're all out. And a spin to end the game. Oh my god. Let's go. Amazing teamwork with no comms as well. Oh my god, look who it is. It's the guy from my ghost face video. There's no way. Oh my god. GG's. We have a Wesker. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. <laughs> yeah. He is, uh, he's on us already, and we are going to be minus eight in absolutely no time. That is okay. Let's see what we can do. I'm not giving up. Early down like that, we don't give up. Nice. Get out of here. He almost got that. We make shack, though. We're good to go. And we should make window. We're not minus eight just yet, so... We're okay. Here, this is where we lose chase, so... This is what we need to play really well. He has Bamboozle. Bit of a timing. Get the Champion of Light. Now, since he has Bamboozle, that means we're going to be better off running things like TLs. In fact, this loop here might be exactly what we need. A TL into a four wall. Something like this, where we have multiple windows, where realistically killers would usually bloodlust you. But using this flashlight, we can avoid the bloodlust completely. This is actually decent. Nice down. We should be able to sneak in here. Beautiful. Chain blind that. Let's actually run away here. Nice. Let's stay. 
Let's use fix here to uh, sneak behind him. Bye, have a beautiful time. I'm gonna walk here. Try and see if I can sneak behind him. Just to be here in the basement for that really early save. Let's wait. And then now, and he might think it's twisted. There's actually a perk at the moment that exists where survivors in the basement can Kobe off the hook. And I think this Wesker might think that he has it if we just hide really well. Nope, he knows. What are you doing? He knows. I tried. I tried doing the uh, the wicked fake. It did not work. He might even have floods of rage with monstrous shrine. That is a possibility. Champion of Light kind of saved us there, I'm not going to lie. Beautiful. And then now, cross. Get the window. He lost us because of that play, I think. Still getting good Champion of Light value, though. That is for sure. Use the shot in the corner there. Didn't really help me, though. And he has Bam anyway. Okay, he's gonna do the thing. Oh, he messed it up, actually. He did it too early. Oh my god, we actually might make it out here. Where's the door? Is it deep in there? Oh, it's deep. It's so far. I tried. Maybe they have the ends to save? I'll just try and be a distraction. Oh wait, actually, I may have just, uh, I may have just trolled Arilo. You might need to get the saver right now. Yep. Oh no, they didn't get the save. If she gets injured, this game, this game is over. Yeah, this game's gonna end now. Now we just have to wait, buy time, recover. Oh my god. She gets the save. They timed it perfectly. And then... Yeah, I was gonna say, he didn't realize which one went down. I need to crawl. If it makes me, this might just be over. Yeah, this might just be over. In this situation, we do have both doors open. But we have two people injured opposite sides. Wait, that person's resetting. They actually have a heal. And maybe he sees this person opening this door here. If she gets that save in time. And then Wesker comes back and picks up into the flashlight save. Can you imagine? No, we don't even get that. We just go get reset. Maybe if they Kobe. No, we can't. We can't. If I didn't go in early, I think they might have been able to get out there. GG's though. Good game. Okay, let's go. We have a clown. Interesting. This is actually one of the few killers who probably won't get a lot of bloodlust. And so... The shift deck is better against killers who kind of do get a lot of bloodlust. This isn't going to be as good as I would have wanted it to be. He's probably going to cut me off here. Yeah. Nice. Pallet there. Bolt this. He's not cutting me off. Nice. And then let's actually do this just so that we lose Chaser. Because obviously he hasn't broken a pallet yet. Once again, he still hasn't here. And his blood should go away if he has any. And there we go. Champion of Light value. Beautiful. And if we walk... Yeah, he leaves us. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, he's going to continue the chase now. Interesting. He's going to vault. There it is. Beautiful. Nice. Leave the loop immediately. And come back in. Beautiful stun. Champion of light, so we can't not break it. And let's walk. Let's lose chase here. And if he doesn't bamboozle this window, we will be able to vault this infinite amount of times. Depending on whether he uses his power or not. Okay, let's see. Oh, hello. We don't make anything, but he should go for us, which is nice. We obviously have life here. Hit that. Fake running this way. Come back in advance so that we actually make it to pallet here. And we actually make it maybe even to shack here, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. I kind of love Champion of Light a lot. There's so many unique things you can do with the perk. I might have to go pallet now, yeah. Let's just blind him with it so that he's slowed here.
Am I looping myself? I'm looping myself. Oh my god, that's so funny. I just love the idea that you can break bloodlust around a corner quickly by using a flashlight. It's just so good. Like, even if I don't pull it off very efficiently, I reckon you give me another week with this perk and I probably have some games where Champion of Light single-handedly wins the entire match. I'm not even kidding. Just the idea of the chase potential with this perk is incredible. Maps that are complete dead zones with just a couple windows can be turned into infinites, which is just, I don't even know how to explain to you guys how like strong that can genuinely be if used correctly. Oh my God. I'm gonna vault. I need life here. Wait, he's leaving again. Okay. Okay, let's slow vault this. If he doesn't come for me, then I just life away. Yeah. And then I walk, out of his sight, vault, walk, we lost chase. Still out of chase, we can infinitely vault this now. Bamboozle, window tech. Is it even bam? It's not bam. Oh my god. I thought it was bam because it was a clown. He's in a swing. No swing. Walk here. Walk around the corner with this and then ready. No, I tried it. I tried it. Fake using the T. No, he knows. I'm actually about to be out of flashlight, so perhaps we can go for one last chase. Get this end game here. I'm running into a wall. In fact, I'm running into a wall so hard I don't even make shack anymore. I do actually. Very interesting. Okay. I can't. I was trying to juke it and then somehow make it to the pallet, but it's pretty difficult. Yeah, he expected window for sure. I mean, let's see. Does he down us here? We win that twice. Does the hindered run out in time? And do we make the pallet? We... Okay, we have one more chase in us. There's no shag pallet. If we're gonna loop anything, I would like it to be main building. I don't know if he'll chase us that far. Because the gen's obviously back there. Let's see right here though. He is actually chasing us main building. Which is very interesting. He's leaving us now. She perfectly dies on that pallet. That's insane. If she's adrenaline, it's gonna be endgame. Or not endgame, sorry. If she's adrenaline, there's gonna be a four out. Okay. Unique pathing. Nah. Thing is, I might just throw the pallet down. And bolt. And pick her up, but they already got her up, so. He's getting downed again. Don't pick him up. No. All right, we need to make three out in this situation. We loop him on this awful pallet here into the jungle gym pallet. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, maybe we just open? I think I just straight up open this. I'm not gonna lie. We have a pallet nearby. If we see him coming here, we just have to loot the pallet and that's it. Wait, they opened? As long as they're both at the other door, they should be out. Nice. And I am also out. And let's see us teleport hacks. Yeah, I should be out. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.